guys, welcome. I'm gonna do another uh, spec demo, uh, this time with pants. Uh, so I'm gonna go through all the measurements. And again, I'm doing sort of a typical pair of pants. They're not too complicated, they're not too simple, just so I can get all of the measurements on there that I need. Uh, but I have it laid out flat on a table, as flat as I can get it. Uh, no wrinkles or anything to mess up my measurements. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, go straight down the list. And so for the first measurement we have is the across waist. So I'm gonna go from side to side. So you can actually see that my front is a little bit small and this is very common, um, but I want to go from side seam to side seam, um, or from edge to edge, straight and straight across. I'm not trying to curve it or anything like that. I'm just going straight across. And I've got 15 inches, so I'm gonna put that in my across waist um, right now. And now I'm gonna go for my waistband width. And the waistband width, what I wanna do is I want to measure from this seam right here up to the edge. So I'm gonna measure from here up to the edge. And I have about an inch and three quarters. Okay, fantastic. Then I'm gonna go um, do my across high hip. Now for my high hip, I'm gonna be measuring from uh, the waist seam, not from the top of the waistband, but from the waist seam down three inches for my high hip. And I'm gonna make sort of make a mark right there and then go through from across to across, side seam to side seam. And from side seam to side seam, I have about inch and a quarter. And I'm gonna do my full hip, which is seven inches down. So about right here and across. And there we have about 16 and a quarter. That's my across hip. Next we're gonna do my front rise. And the front rise, I wanna to try to flatten it out as best I can so I don't want this sort of curved under or anything like that. I want the sort of seam all nice and flat. And I go from the waist seam down to the crotch seam. And again, that's where the inseam and the front and back seam uh, center front and back seam uh, uh, meet, and that's a good seven inches right there. So that's my front rise. I'm gonna flip it over to do my back rise. I might have to adjust it because I want that full seam, not just where it ends. I want that full seam, and I'm gonna go all the way from the center back waist seam along the center back down to that. And my back rise is about 11 and a quarter inches. Okay, that's great. And what do we got next? We got our across thigh. So I'm gonna flip it back over. And this measurement is going to be from inseam to side seam. So this is the inseam, it's the inside seam. And I'm gonna measure from that crotch point right here where the center back, center front, and inseams all come together. I'm gonna measure down just one inch along that seam, that inseam, and then from that point, I'm gonna measure straight across, trying to keep this sort of imaginary perpendicular line, so my across thigh is gonna be, looks like eight and um, five eighths, okay? Then I wanna do my across knee. My across knee is 13 inches down, so I'm gonna measure down 13 inches. See that? Make sure that you guys can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Move it up a little bit. 13 inches about right here. I'm gonna measure across from there. From side seam to inseam. And we're gonna do um, about five and seven eighths right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and do my leg opening. And this is gonna be from edge to edge, or pretty close to side seam to side seam, or side seam to inseam. My leg opening right here is five inches, okay? So now that we've done our cross measurements, let's go ahead and do the um, inseam. So let's see, do I have the whole inseam in shot? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I'm gonna go it's all the way from the crotch seam up here, 
all the way straight down to let's line that up the best way we can down to the edge and that looks about 27 inches so the 27 inch inseam and the next we have is our cuff width now I don't have any cuffs on here as we can see here. now you can see um, but if I did let's pretend that I did so I'm just going to sort of cuff it up like this so it looks like there's cuffs my cuff width would be from the top edge here to the bottom edge here so I'm measuring that as inch and a quarter and again might have kiffs might not have cuffs if you don't have cuffs just leave it off some pants do some pants don't um, then we're going to have the fly length and what I'm going to do, it's a little hard to see here because it's white, my top stitching is white, but when I measure, I want to measure from the top stitching, where the top stitching intersects with that center front seam up to my waist seam. So I'm going to measure from here up, so from right there up to my waist seam, so it's looking like it's about four and uh, five eighths. Okay, fantastic. Um, next, I want to do my front pocket opening. So what I'm gonna do is, here's my front pocket up here. Make sure you guys can see it. So this is my front pocket here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure from the side seam to that front part, that's four inches. And then for my front pocket depth, I'm gonna measure down from my waist seam along my side seam to the edge of the pocket here. And that's two and three quarters inch, okay? Now I have my little change pocket in here, and so I may as well do it. I didn't add in the specs there, but I'm gonna tell, teach you how to do it. Um, I just really <laughs> should have known this because these are my pants, but these are actually fake pockets. How cheap, how awful. Like I would never want a pocket for anything. Um, <laughs> how does this even work? Oh man, cheap pants, anyway. So my change pocket, I'm just going to uh, do this length and opening the same way. So um, what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to measure in from the side seam, the position, so it's a lot like how the back pockets are going to go. It's about, um, looks like, what is that? It's a three quarters inch in from the side seam is where it's placed. And down from the waist seam is about a half an inch. I would call that five eighths inch actually. So I'll put that in there. And I'll probably have another uh, couple categories just talking about the dimensions of them. Okay, uh, let's move on to our back pockets. So these uh, back pockets are a little bit different um, because they have flaps. Um, so if you have a little bit more complicated pocket, you might add a couple more measurements in there. So I would have to measure not only the flaps, but also the back pockets as well. So I'm going to lift up the flap just for a minute. And let's go over our pocket dimensions. So here we would really have um, four applicable widths or dimensions for the actual pocket itself. I'd have the top width, which is six inches. I would have sort of this bottom width right here which is five and a quarter inches. I would have a total length, which is five inches, and then a length to this corner, which straight down, I would measure straight down is four inches, okay? So for our typical like this, I have four um, different measurements. Now, depending on your pocket shape, you have, might have more or less, or if you don't have a patch pocket on back, you might have even less. Now for this top here, I again have a bunch of measurements. I'd have the across here of being six and a half inches. I'd have uh, this sort of bottom, because it does taper in. Actually, does it? Yeah, it does. Six and a half here, six inches here. Total width being um, maybe, uh, let's say it's a little less than three and a half, three and three eighths. And then I have uh, different sorts of measurements going in here. So saying, you know, uh, uh, right here, this is gonna come down this much, and then come down this much. 
on a sort of separate piece. And this would be a really great example of a sort of addendum to our spec sheet. So sometimes when we have more complicated garment details, um, like this pocket, for example, um, we put all the basic measurements on the main sheet and then have a separate sheet that has a close-up of this area and goes into all the little details, goes into the buttons and things like that. Uh, I'm gonna pop on over and uh, let's do our pocket location. So our pocket location for this is gonna have a couple measurements. It's probably gonna have about three or maybe four measurements. Let's check. I want to have um, it in from the side seam. So I'm gonna measure where the top is in from the side seam. That's only about an inch. I want to have this point in from the side seam. That's two and a half inches. And then I'm gonna have uh, down from the waist seam as well. So we have it uh, about inch and five eighths down on this left side. And on the right side, on the inside, we have it two and a half inches down. So again, if you need a couple more measurement spots, there's uh, the blank measurement spaces in your spec sheet. So depending on what you're doing, if you need a couple more measurement spots, um, just use the blank spots to fill it in. And again, a lot of you are gonna be doing simple sort of just sweatpants, so you can leave out all the pocket stuff uh, for them. Now let's go on and do our belt loops. Um, the belt loops should all be the same, so you don't have to measure them all. Uh, but you're gonna do belt loop length, so you're going to measure from the top of the belt loop to the bottom of the belt loop, and this is two and three quarters inch. Then you're also gonna measure the width of it. And it looks like it's about three eighths inch width. Now, in addition, I wanna go ahead and count my buttons. On this, I have four buttons, two white, two black. Um, I also have a couple studs and things like that if you wanna add that into trims or other. Um, and I want to go ahead and, and make sure I know the size of the button so I can get the diameter of the button, which about five eighths. Um, you can translate that into line if you'd like. Um, but for all intents and purposes, that's how we spec our pants. Um, sort of our basic overview. Again, if you guys want to do much simpler pants, you're more than welcome to. If you want to challenge yourself, uh, go for it. I do have those extra slots for um, uh, extra measurements. So um, have fun doing your pants. Um, this, I promise, will be our last spec. No specs are not the most fun thing to do in the world, um, but they are really, really important for us to learn as most entry-level jobs in the fashion industry will require you to do specs. So when they ask you if you know how to do specs, you don't have to sit there with your blank expression on your face. You can say, yes, I know how to do specs. I'm a spec expert. Um, and uh, that will conclude, and I'll see you guys all next week. So, bye-bye. I'm going to grab that.